My neighbor just built a pool and I'm excited to start taking my kids swimming, but I'm nervous about safety. What are the pool rules I should be aware of? The most important pool rule is that there is one adult per child who's supervising. Now, if you have a little kid or a new swimmer, that means you're in the water. You're not standing by the side. You're just inches away from your child while they're swimming. If you have an older child who's an experienced swimmer, it's okay for you to be standing by the side watching them, but you need to be watching them. That means that you're not going in and out of the house to get something from the kitchen, and you're not talking on the phone. You're paying attention to your child. There are ways to prevent kids from getting unlimited access to pools. Things like gates and covers, and these are great. But the most important thing is that your kids learn. They can never go swimming in a pool or a body of water without adult supervision. There should be serious consequences if they decide to do that. And the same goes for adults. You are in charge of watching your kids. Swimming and unhealthy sun exposure often go hand in hand. The best way to protect you and your children from the sun is to wear sunscreen. You want to use an SPF of at least 30 and apply the sunscreen at least half an hour before sun exposure. Make sure you get the hard to reach and often missed areas like the backs of the ears, the back of the neck, and the tops of the feet. Also, don't forget your lips. Your lips have very little natural protection from the sun, so be sure to use a lip balm with at least an SPF of 15. Also, be sure to take breaks to reapply the sunscreen every two to three hours. Be aware that some cosmetics and prescription drugs can increase sensitivity to the sun. Make sure you read labels and speak with your pharmacist to be sure you're not at risk before you go outside. Skin cancer appears in adulthood, but is often caused by sun damage received as a child. Make sure your children know there's no such thing as a healthy tan. When it comes to pool rules, it's really important that you fuel your children before, during, and after a typical day of summer fun. The old wives tale that says wait one hour after eating before swimming isn't exactly accurate these days. At mealtime, be sure to limit the size of the meal. While it's not as disastrous as previously thought, swimming on a full stomach is simply uncomfortable and can cause an upset stomach. Be sure to schedule food and water breaks every 15 to 20 minutes. Aim for six ounces of water or an electrolyte replacement drink to make sure kids stay well fueled and hydrated. At the end of the day, watch for delayed signs of dehydration, fatigue, lethargy, or confusion. Also at the end of the day, be sure to give your children a well-balanced meal. This will help to refuel their muscles so that they're better energized the next day. By teaching your family these important summertime rules, you're ensuring their happiness, safety, and fun throughout the whole summer. Still have questions about pool rules? Get up-to-date answers at ParentsAsk.com because raising kids raises questions.